Hi, Catherine. Marnie and I are so excited to have you on our show today. We connected through Instagram, but I was actually introduced to your product like a year and a half ago on a retreat and we got some little samples. Oh, nice. And, you know, I used them, but I think at the time I, I didn't have a full appreciation for what they entailed and didn't have all the information that you're going to share with our listeners today. Yes. And then, you know, we started using your products when that you guys sent us after we connected. And I have to say, I used them on a trip to London, my husband and I took, and we were jet lag and we didn't sleep much the night before. And I was like, hey, let's take these energy bits. Yeah. Yes. And I don't know, we were, we were good all day. We had energy, we didn't crash. So I know. Yes. I and think it, there's, it's not, uh, it's not, a, it's, it's a real thing that's going on here. It's not placebo. And um, as I walk you through the science, you'll start to understand what is really going on. And, um, and don't be, you know, no, no crime that you didn't know about algae or us, because 99% of the world doesn't know about algae either. Uh, We'll talk about some of the research, there's 100,000 studies documenting the benefits we're talking about. But as I point out to people, scientists like to talk to other scientists, and none of the science has eked its way out into the consumer world. And uh, so that's basically what I've spent the last 13 years trying to understand why this stuff is so amazing uh, for health, longevity, skin, sleep, energy, and how does it work? <laughs> so I figured it out. <laughs> And I am so excited because your energy is already coming through within the first like 60 seconds of this podcast (laughs) interview. But before we get into all the goodness you're going to share, we love to ask our guests, what is your one non-negotiable to start each day? Well, it's algae. You know, I'm sorry. (laughs) I, I, I have been taking my algae tablets for 13 years, which is how long I've been working on this. And I'll share with you, I'm just about to turn 67 and uh, nobody believes how old I am. And I had to have uh, some blood tests done lately. And I mean, I am completely healthy on every single single marker. And I'll tell you about a cool test that was recently done that uh, um, showed my biological age to be 32, which is pretty much about how I feel. Um, And honestly, and I have two sisters and they're aging just like everybody else. And I, you know, so we have the same DNA, you know, same same DNA, but, but man, I'm looking and feeling so much younger and it's just the algae. (laughs) So your sisters are not taking the algae. No, I keep, well, they, you know, sporadically, you know, I send them with bags, but you know, they shove it in a, in a cabinet and, (laughs) you know, it's like, why aren't you taking it? it? You know, people are funny that way. So it, and, I, and also, and I won't dwell on this, but I have found, and maybe other people listening, that when you have something, you've developed an expertise, your family are usually the last ones mm-hmm. to embrace Absolutely. it and accept 100%. it. hundred percent. And so, um, because I, you know, I call myself a citizen scientist, because as you're going to find out, I've, I'm completely self-taught on all the science and I don't have a PhD or an MD, but I know my stuff and uh, they just can't see me that way. They just see me as the sister they grew up with. And so, you know, they're not open to the, the, all the rich science I'm going to share with you today. So I don't push, I don't push anybody. I just present what it does. I give a, I, we, we pride ourselves in, in, in growing, as you're going to find out, LG's food and growing the safest, highest quality uh, product with third-party lab tests. And then we just leave it up to you to, Try it out and see how much better. I tell people it's never too late to feel great. <laughs> and uh, well, we would love to hear before you dive into all this amazing science, like how you got into it. I know. Like <laughs> what 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 happened that made you become so interested in algae? I know. I, I I'm actually a MBA trained uh, business person doing international business. Although I did have a, uh, a, a redirect, I was a I was in the interior design make industry for about ten years before this. But anyways, nothing to do with nutrition and certainly nothing to do with algae. Um, and then um, literally 15 years ago, my one of my young sisters, my younger sister in Canada, developed breast cancer. Now, first of all, I want everybody to know she completely healed. So, and we celebrate her being cancer free every year. But as she was preparing for her chemotherapy, her oncologist, who happened to be a woman, by the way, and women are just more open to nutritional things, her oncologist told her to change her diet to an alkaline diet because it would be help with her healing. 
Um, they did, she didn't tell her, my sister, what exactly an alkaline diet was or why exactly it was good for her. So my sister called me. I'm very close with my sisters. I'm also just a really good researcher. And I said, I have no idea what this alkaline diet stuff is. Remember, this was 15 years ago, but I'll find out. And I did. And it turned out to be plant-based uh, diet, mostly uh, you know, lettuce, vegetables, because of the chlorophyll and the phytonutrients that have been proven uh, for de decades to build your immune system. And she wanted my sister to have the strongest immune system at possible because she was going through chemo. So anyways, I, I researched all this plant-based nutrition for her. She did go through her chemo. She completely healed. And in the process, which was the most important thing that she healed, but by helping her, I started down this rabbit hole reading about plant-based nutrition, which 15 years ago, nobody was talking about. And now it's everywhere. But 15 years ago, nope. And I, after reading about 100 NIH articles and about 10 different books, I thought, wow, this stuff is pretty powerful. Like, why doesn't anybody know about it? So I'm just a very uh, dynamic, solve the, solve the problem kind of gal. And I decided, I don't know how I'm going to do it or what I'm going to do but I'm gonna do something. And so I gave up my corporate career, 25 year corporate career, international business, went back to school, got a health coaching certificate at the Institute for Integrative Nutrition. I didn't have time for a, you know, to get an RD. Um, and it wasn't the most rich in nutrition, but it was enough to give me a grounding and a certificate. So I had a little bit of confidence. And then I put together my own curriculum teaching plant-based nutrition at corporations and hospitals. And this is, I know it's a long-winded story, but this is what led me to algae. Because as I was teaching people the importance of eating more vegetables, I got so much pushback because everyone says, well, I know I'm supposed to eat more vegetables. My mother's been trying to get me to eat vegetables, but it's too much work. Yeah. And they said, look, at they're heavy to carry home from the grocery store. They take a long time to clean. They take a long time to eat. They give me gas. My, my kids won't eat them. My husband won't eat them. I throw most of them out before they go. I even use them. So endless lists of why people weren't eating vegetables. So once again, I thought, OK, I have to find a solution. <laughs> Didn't know what it was going to be, but I'm very a determined individual. So back to everything I found for my sister. And I just did a deeper dive on everything. And it was when I got to algae that the magic happened, because it turns out that algae is the most alkaline food in the world. So that check that first box. Turns out that it's also the most nutrient dense food in the world. We have a quote from NASA that says one gram of algae has the same nutrition equal to a thousand grams of vegetables. So that box is checked. It, it's been endorsed by the United Nations for 49 years as the answer, spirulina algae, which is one of the algae we're going to talk about, as the answer to world hunger because it has the highest concentration of protein in the world, has three times the amount of protein as steak. It's also been used, it's been used for centuries. The Egyptians used it 2,000 years ago. The Aztecs grew it in Mexico 250 years ago. The Asians... Um, have been taking it daily, especially in Japan, for 60 years, where they 90% um, of algae is grown in Asia and 90% of it, or 99, is consumed there. So as you're going to find out in a minute, algae is a food. It is not a supplement. And then the cream on the, the icing on the cake came from the fact that I found out that algae could be grown in fresh water, dried, and then pressed into little tablets like this. I'm showing you. They're about the size of a baby aspirin. And all you need to do is swallow a handful or a couple, whatever you want. Each tablet has the same nutrition as an entire plate of vegetables. I just had a plate of vegetables. One tablet. One tablet. One tablet. So I kind of remember when I when I got the little packets, it, I feel like it said you needed like 30 a day or something. Well, we have athletes who use 30 before a workout. We fuel NHL teams. They they take 75 spirulina before a game and 75 chlorella after. But for the average person, if you took 10 tablets a day, um, that would give you all the nourishment you need. You're more than welcome to have more. If you took 20 or 30, it'd be like a meal. You can give them to your kids, give them to your pets, give them to your grandparents. Even if they, you know, kids take, you know, we, we recommend one or half of one of their age. So if they're six, give them three a day. If they're 10, give them five or or less. Kids love them. Um, and But this was the answer because they're effortless. I will admit, most people do not like the flavor of spirulina. It's very chewy and very earthy. So they swallow them. Chlorella tastes a little bit better. And we'll talk about that. So but, can I interrupt you for one second? In a second, you get all the nourishment you need. Ta-da! <laughs> right? Yes. So 
when you say 10 tablets a day, is it five of each? No, it'd be 10 of each. 10 um, of each. Yeah. Okay. If you want sort of the to, to notice anything, you, you're more than welcome to take less, but you won't feel as much of the benefits uh, as 10 a day. By the way, when you have 10 spirulina, because it's so, it satisfies your hunger, you you won't be hungry for hours. Is one calorie per tablet, one calorie. So for 10 calories, you get up in the morning, you swallow 10, cal- 10 spirulina tablets, you're up the door in seconds. And you're, if they're intermittent, they're great for intermittent fasting because they're ketogenic, there's zero carbs, 40 vitamins and minerals, great for weight loss, great for meal replacement. It's just unbelievable what this stuff does. Um, and the more you take, the, the better you'll feel. But you don't have to even take 10 if you don't want to. You can take less. But if you're not feeling your hunger go away or you're not getting the mental acuity, then you probably need more. It's a food. So there is no upper limit. In fact, I, I eat. I eat them all day long from the moment I get up to the moment I go to bed. So I'm, I'm pretty, uh, and, and so there's, and there's no in, drug interactions. It is the most safest concentrated food, at least ours is in the world. And um, uh, as I said, so, so when I found out about all these benefits, all these international endorsements and that it was grown as a food crop used safely for 60 years in Asia. And all you had to do was swallow or chew a handful of tablets and your meal needs, your nutritional needs are met in seconds. That was it for me. I said, okay, I'm spending the rest of my life uh, helping the world understand what algae is because everybody in Asia knows about it. It's just outside of Asia. This, oh, I forgot to also mention there are almost a hundred thousand, not one, not 10, not a hundred, not a thousand, a hundred thousand studies documenting and proving the health benefits we're going to talk about today. So, but scientists like to talk to scientists and they don't like, they don't know how to explain complex scum concepts to consumers. So because I didn't have a science background, it turns out that I am the perfect person to do that because I turns out I am a good researcher. I'm very geeky, but I can take these very complex um, scientific papers. So I've read about 3,000 by now that are on NIH library and extract the one or two nuggets that help explain why something is working in your body and why algae is the perfect match for that particular need. And I never thought I would ever be doing this ever, but it gives me a lot of joy. Um, and we're, I tell people we're sort of like a puppy adoption agency because Anytime anybody buys a bag of our algae tablets and they come in canisters, it's like, go out there and do good things in the world because we know what the power of this, of what algae does. And, and I'm, I, you know, I have to be careful of, with the FDA. So I can't say that algae does certain things, but the nutrients in algae are proven to do certain things. We'll talk about some of them. There's a particular antioxidant called uh, superoxide dismutase, which is there's 25 thousand studies that prove it stops heart disease, proves it stops Alzheimer's, but you can't get superoxide dismutase from any other food in the entire universe except algae. And it's an enzyme. So um, it is killed by high heat and almost everybody else who sells algae uses high heat to dry it, which kills that particular enzyme, but not us. We, ours are, we don't use high heat. So we'll talk about the what di- makes us special uh, compared to other algae tablets. But we have customers writing in to tell us that their Alzheimer's is balanced out. Uh, they've got people send us their lab tests from when they had cancer and it goes into remission. I mean, when I tell you that this stuff is powerful, it's not just the science, it's anecdotally. And just and, and if nothing else, we had this one woman write in and said, thank you, you saved my family because she was always arguing with her children at dinner time to eat the vegetables. The kids didn't want the vegetables and it was very stressful. So she now just gives her daughter, you know, th- it was 13, you know, three or four tablets. The kid, they they love them because I just had one, they they turn your, your tongue green. They think that's really funny. So if nothing else, you're just solving the nutritional problem. And as I mentioned earlier, um, or was about to, um, because when you take these daily, this is not something you take once or occasionally. This is a daily thing. You Every single person in the entire world should be taking spirulina and chlorella algae every single day. And I'll explain why in a minute. But when you take them, 
because there's so much protein, so much nutrients, your grocery bills will go down. You can replace most of your supplements, which by the way, your body isn't absorbing because they're made from extracts that don't exist in nature. So you won't ever end up spending more money. You'll just get better nutrition with less effort at a very affordable cost. 10 tablets work out to about a dollar a day. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So Catherine, you've already like peppered in so much information. I know I, I want to dive know, into, sorry. <laughs> but like you started the conversation, most people in the world outside of Japan and some other countries have not heard or have not that familiar with algae. So can we just back up a little bit Yes, and kind of dive in a little bit about algae and then really specifically then get into like the differences between chlorella and spirulina And then, you know, tack on like the health benefits, which you've already sort of started to touch on, but the differences between the two. Perfect. And and also that you're not talking about like pond algae, correct? And So I would um, like you to clarify that as well, because when I hear the word algae, I think of like the green stuff floating in the (laughs) pond. I know, I know, I know. I just, (gasps) yeah. Thank you for asking for that. So, um, so first of all, algae is its own food category because it's not technically a plant um, and There are two, uh, and as you're going to find out, spirulina is not even a plant. It's a bacteria, but we'll save that for later. So it's its own food category, and there are two main types of algae. One is called macroalgae, and the other one is microalgae. We're going to be talking about microalgae, but let me explain what macroalgae is first. It's that big stringy stuff that washes up on shore, also known as seaweed, dulse, kelp, and it's only in the sea. Um, And it's still good for you because it's full of fiber and iodine because it's from uh, it's only in the ocean, but it has virtually zero nutrition. I used to buy big bags of kelp noodles and I would laugh because a whole big bag um, would have like five calories in it because there's virtually no nutrition. So that's macroalgae only in the sea and stringy and no nutrition. We're talking about microalgae, which is in the sea, but it's also everywhere else. Microalgae is in the ocean, the rivers, the lakes, the streams, the soil, your swimming pool, your aquarium, uh, absolutely everywhere. And on um, you know, macroalgae, there's only a few strains. Microalgae, there's tens of thousands of strains of microalgae. The two that are best known are blue-green algae and green algae. Now we're gonna talk about spirulina and and chlorella. Spirulina is an example of a a blue-green algae, and chlorella is an example of a green algae. Now, to your point about why what's different about the stuff that's in this algae growing in your, closing your beach. So spirulina and chlorella, which we'll get to in a minute, are harvested in fresh water as a food crop. I'm showing you a picture. This is a spirulina farm. This is a chlorella farm. So when you talk, when you read on online about a blue green algae, or you get a notice a blue green algae closed your favorite beach, we're not talking about spirulina. It's another strain of blue of blue green algae, but it's not spirulina. A spirulina is only harvested in as in a, uh, in in freshwater farms. It's called hydroponic, and there's lots of vegetables grown hydroponically: tomatoes, lettuce. Uh, so it's no different than any other vegetable. Um, so, and I tell people, you know, if you wouldn't take a glass of water out of a swamp, right? Cause you'd know it's full of toxins. That doesn't mean you should stop drinking water. You just want to stop drinking that water. <laughs> so when it comes to blue green algae closing your beach, you know, that's an algae you don't want to get anywhere near, but it doesn't mean you should be concerned about spirulina, which is grown very carefully in fresh water, not that swampy stuff. Um, and I also point out people don't know this, but One of the benefits of algae, uh, especially spirulina, is it kills bacteria. Um, So when the the algae bloom shows up in your beach, it's because there are toxins and bacteria there. Somebody has either through industrial or farming, there's been or peeing, who knows, but somehow a lot of toxicity got into that water and algae shows up as the cleanup crew. But you can't see the toxins, but you can see the algae. So it gets a bum rap because it's more visible. And what it does is it absorbs all the toxins that are in the water 
and kills the bacteria. This is why you want to never go near any algae bloom because it's absorbed all, it's like a sponge. It absorbs all the toxins and it washes up on shore. So stay clear of that. You don't want that, but it, we're not talking about spirulina or chlorella. That Those are wild. Algae is actually the only thing that I can think of that you never want to eat that's grown wild. There are, is a company that grows, has been growing um, spirulina in a Klamath Lake. And I tell people, do not, do not, do not buy that because you can't keep microtoxins out of bodies of water that are, uh, and so that one in research has shown there's microtoxins in that particular algae. There are none in ours, by the way, because we do third-party lab tests at regular labs, as well as for a special algae lab that tests for microtoxins. And of course, we never have them because ours is, our algae is grown in fresh water. So there's macroalgae, big stringy stuff in the sea, good for you for the fiber and the iodine, no nutrition. Microalgae, very concentrated. And here's why it's so concentrated. You can get literally, I read, a million microalgae on the head of a pin. That's how tiny they are. And this wow. is what feeds this, the whales, the fish, the entire ecosystem of the ocean is fed by these microalgae, also known as plankton. So this is why when you get them, so you know, why when you, you know, dry them into these little tablets, this is why it's so concentrated nutrition, because you multiply that, that concentrated nutrition just on its own and, and then condense it into this tablet form. This is why it's so amazing. Um, so, so yeah, so there's lots of algae, microalgae, but the two we're talking about, spirulina and chlorella, which by the way, are the two that virtually everybody sells and grows. They're, they're the two that are known. People just know it's a superfood. They're not really sure what it does. Uh, they put it in their smoothie and they, they know it's good for them, but they don't really know why. So I'm going to unpack the why for you. Yes. Cause I've used it over the years in my smoothies. I buy the powders, but I do it very intermittently. Yeah. And I don't know what it's done, if anything. And you're probably going to say that those powders are, you know, dried at high heat or yeah. Yeah. aren't as effective as what you've yeah. made. But and I'm I wondering if the spir spirulina or chlorella kills the bacteria and absorbs the toxins in humans, just like you said, oh, it does absolutely in, in lakes they, or whatever. Uh, yeah. And and by the way, chlorophyll, algae has the highest concentration of chlorophyll in the world. And chlorophyll has been used for centuries for killing bacteria and for cleansing. They used to use it topically on, a, on an injury. And there are some functional medicines doctors that still recommend it. Uh, they used uh, uh, spear, um, chlor chlorophyll as a um, in during World War II, even pr before World War II, mm -hmm. if they ran out of blood for transfusions, because as you're going to find out, um, chlorophyll builds your blood because drum roll, it's virtually the same chemical composition as your hemoglobin. I'll show you a, a picture about that. So yes, it kills bacteria. Um, I don't want to dwell too much on the bacteria, but another interesting little factoid is that virtually every single water treatment plant in North America runs its water through algae because of oh. this very reason. It kills bacteria. So if you ever run the water and you put it you know, on a plate or and you get a little green ring, as I often do, that's the algae. So uh, pretty amazing, oh. right? The, the stuff that algae does is just off the charts, but <laughs> I feel like I've got a, you know, Einstein on my hands that nobody knows about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm surprised that if it's this amazing, like why aren't more people talking about it? Well, it's because um, it's not grown here. 99% of it is grown in Asia and, and um, nobody knows about it except the scientists or maybe a small handful of naturopaths or functional medicine uh, folks. So uh, although the equine industry has used spirulina and chlorella for 50 years because it does all the things I'm going to tell you about, which gives you energy, improves your health, improves your hair. So th there's little pockets around the world that know about this, but it hasn't been you know, really taken to the um, consumer market until, you know, I have, where I'm really, I am the only person I know in North America, educating people about algae nutrition. And I've been on almost 250 podcasts in the last couple of years, um, because I'm so determined to get this information out. So I, I, I mentioned to people, you know, algae isn't new, it's just new to you. And think about it, 10 years ago, you probably didn't know about kiwa or matcha or CBD or collagen powder until somebody, but these are things that have been used indigenously in other countries 
for centuries. Mm -hmm. Um, So until somebody here made it, you know, branded it, educated you, made it available, um, you didn't know about those either. So you can't keep algae down any longer. It's just too powerful. uh, And it's got too many international endorsements. But um, I've, you know, I designed all our packaging and I designed it so that it was be as welcoming and, and exciting as what algae does on the inside. Um, we actually just got into Neiman Marcus. So somebody seems to think the packaging is nice. I'll do anything to get this stuff into people because it will change the trajectory of, of our, our lives, both our families, our own health, our brain health prevent help prevent chronic disease and it's the most eco-friendly sustainable crop in the world so it's also going to help um our our earth so it, i i'm very proud of what i do because i it's it whatever way you look at algae it is the answer to just about everything from nutrition to to healing um and to um making sure that our the next generations and the current generations are healthier effortlessly i have to keep saying effortlessly <laughs> So can you dive into some of that and maybe talk like talk about the differences between the two and the specific yeah, benefits? Exactly. So as I mentioned, it's grown in we uh, we we were known for because I grow ours in triple filtered spring mountain water in Taiwan. Then we air dry it into a powder without high heat, which is really critical because it protects some of these nutrients we're going to talk about, like that enzyme called superoxidismutase, as well as the pigment, the blue pigment in spirulina. And then we just press them into the little tablets. By the way, we call the tablets bits because they're bits of nutrition. There is nothing else in there. The spirulina, we call ours energy bits. We have a second brand called Beauty Bits. 100% spirulina. They're all grown organically. And chlorella, 100% um, we call ours recovery bits. And as I mentioned, each tablet has the same nutrition as an entire plate of vegetables. And I did the math based on that quote from NASA that one gram of algae has the same nutrition as a thousand grams of fruits, vegetables. I, I was just going to ask how you were able to yeah. figure that out. Yeah. So, um, so that's about a, you know, a half a pound of vegetables. So 10 tablets um, is like, um, uh, like five pounds of vegetables. And so, and I did the another math calculation. I'm certainly not a math whiz, but each one of our bags of algae ta- thousand tablets I did the math and figured out there is the same nutrition using that same quote as 551 pounds of vegetables in one bag. And if you took 10 tablets a day, that bag would last you three months. Now think about it. That's 551 pounds of vegetables that you didn't have to lug home from the grocery store, clean, cook, or eat, fight with your kids to, um, to please eat them, throw them out when they didn't, throw them out when they, you know, never, you never got to it. There's so much waste with vegetables. So I call it very efficient nutrition. It's it's deceiving because it's so the bag is so small. But as I said, ten tablets a day works out to about a dollar a day. Um, so uh, everyone's health is worth a dollar a day. We spend four dollars on a coffee at Starbucks, but this will change your health. This will protect your mitochondria. This will give you the energy to get through your day. Help you with lose weight. Give your children the the nutritional cha- you know chance to to have a healthier life, uh, whether they're on the spectrum or just kids, right? You're just not, it's just unbelievable. So anyways, it's very, very concentrated nutrition. Now, go ahead. No, no, I'm just going to also say that like, even if you're eating a lot of fruits and vegetables, and we've talked about this on our podcast so much that because of the health of the soil and the chemicals and the pesticides and everything else, you may be getting fiber, but you're not necessarily getting nutrient dense food. Yes. So- Yes, what you're, you're right. getting with your product are the nutrients that we sometimes think we're getting in the foods we're eating, you know, like Marnie and I, and a lot of our listeners are eating pretty well, but we may not be absorbing or actually getting the nutrients that we think. Right. Well, and, and also like, yeah. I really enjoy eating vegetables yes. and my kids yeah, enjoy eating too. vegetables. So like, I'm not looking at this, like, okay, I'm not going to eat vegetables anymore, but it's a great supplement, not supplement. It's a great food bit yes. yeah. <laughs> in addition to the vegetables that I'm right. already eating. Right. Exactly. And to your point, um, the, the scientists are calling this the great nutrient collapse because the food that we eat has about, um, about one fifth of the food, the nutrition that used to be in, in our vegetables that our grandparents had. And it's because of the monocropping of the soil. Right. That they're growing vegetables so far away now. So they're harvested before they're actually ripe. So the enzymes and the nutrients can't get to the plants or the fruit. 
and then they're kept in warehouses. And so by the time they get to the grocery store and to your plate, um, they've lost literally 80% of the nutrition. And the sad thing is farmers aren't paid based on the nutrition that's in their food. Uh, they're paid by the weight, by the size. So lots of people go to these farmer markets and they go, oh, look at this big you know, red tomato, tomato or green pepper I got for only blah, blah. Well, it's probably, you know, use glyphosate to get it that large, oversized. And so um, it's A, got glyphosate in it, and B, it doesn't have the nutrition that you need. So so it's uh, we're missing so many of the nutrients. And you know, I remind people, we wouldn't think about trying to drive our car without gas or trying to use our Apple iPhone without electricity. To, to, and yet we think we can put junk in our trunk <laughs> in our bodies and think it's going to work okay and it doesn't it needs proper nutrition whether it's for your immune system for your brain health and we our foods are so processed and there's so much sugar and crappy canola oil um, so even if you are eating vegetables these other things that slip in and um, cause so much damage and that so that's the nutritional side and i'll explain why spirulina is the answer for that and the other problem, as you well know, is, are, is the toxicity load that are, uh, we're exposed to. I read that the average adult in North America has 700 toxins in their body. Um, these are chemicals, glyphosates, uh, molds, uh, pesticides. It's just garbage. And chlorella, in addition to having still 40 vitamins and minerals and 60% protein, it is a detoxer. It cleanses the body, pulls out heavy metals, and we'll talk about that in a minute. So, spirulina. And is that the evening one? I know there's one yes. you do in the, the chlorella is the evening one. Yes. And you could take either one of them any time of day, but definitely spirulina in the morning and definitely chlorella at night. And I'll explain why uh, in, a, in a minute. So, so yeah, they do completely different things in your body. So, um, and I've come up with some little analogies to help people understand. Um, why they do these different things. So, so let's get to spirulina. It's a blue-green algae, and uh, uh, it's called a blue-green algae because it has two pigments in it. Pigments are what are colors, right? So the green algae, uh, the green color is chlorophyll, and we're going to when we talk about chlorella, it only has that one pigment. But spirulina also has a blue pigment in it called phycocyanin, um, and I'm going to show you. Um, how to spell that because it's very important. I want you to be able to Google it. Um, it's P-H-Y-C-O-C-Y-A-N-I-N, phycocyanin. We'll get to that later on because you're going to find out phycocyanin kills cancer cells. That's pretty important to know. Uh, but anyways, blue-green algae, spirulina, is not even a plant. It is a bacteria. It's called a cyanobacteria. And it was the first life on earth four billion years ago. And we'll talk about that in a minute. But spirulina's claim to fame is that it gives you energy, nourishment and energy. And it does that a couple of ways. It gives you immediate energy, not like a stimulant. It's like caffeine, chemicals or sugar would, where you get a rush and a crash. The energy you get from spirulina is from the nutrition. Um, and, and so it's very steady energy. You might not even notice it, quite honestly. I call it quiet energy. Um, you would notice if you took it before in the exercising, if you went for a run or weight, you know, weight training, because you would lift more and wouldn't notice it. You'd run further or run faster. But uh, so I don't want people to think, oh, well, they're going to get this supercharged thing of energy, which frankly, you don't want. Uh, it's just very, you just notice that you're not hungry that you can think better, that you aren't fatigued. It's uh, it's like having a great night's sleep and, and we all want that. So you get- are, are the effects, excuse me, are the effects cumulative, would you say? Or is it like, I have my 10 little bits in the morning and I feel, I feel it. I feel the quiet energy. Or is it like, you need to have 10 days worth of 10 bits to do you know what I'm saying? Oh, you'll notice it immediately. And again, if you're not noticing after 10, you you just need more, um, you know, maybe 20 or 30 everyone because it's food, you know, some people need one egg to feel satisfied, some people need four. So if you're not feeling these results, you're someone who needs more. And to answer your question, it's not a cumulative thing that you know, you need to take 10 today and 20 to get the same benefit because that's what you get 
from drugs. You have to keep upping your amount because uh, your body, you know, but no, it's, it's, you take 10 and maybe in the afternoon, you're feeling a little tired because it doesn't last forever. It's just a couple of hours. So maybe you take more, you know, 10 more at lunchtime or have 30 for lunch. And that will carry you through the entire day. We have people very busy professionals are traveling a lot. They'll take a, a pouch in the morning. Um, maybe they'll have another pouch for lunch, but they don't need to eat until dinner time. This is where, you know, the miracle of, of spirulina comes in because, uh, or if you go on, are on a weight loss program, trouble with weight loss programs is people eat less. And so they're getting less nourishment and they usually shorten the selection of food. So they're also getting a, they're missing out on nutrients. And so they're always tired and they're always hungry and then they crave something. Never happens with spirulina because it's giving your body the 40 vitamins and minerals that you need. So there's no cravings and you get all the protein and essential fatty acids that satisfy your hunger and gives you that focus. So so it's like the perfect way if you have that desire or even if you don't, it just nourishes your body in such a balanced way. We don't do anything to it. We just grow it very carefully and dry it very carefully. This is mother nature who has created this for us. So the energy you get on a more immediate basis is because spirulina has the highest protein in the world. It has 18 of the 20 aminos, including the nine your body can't make. So it's a it's a complete pro, uh, protein, uh, like a lot of other things. So, and then it's loaded with B vitamins, which convert the aminos into energy. Um, so you get that, you know, lift, uh, and it's also loaded with essential fatty acids, which help with your brain focus. It's loaded with iron, which you know, carries oxygen in your blood. So there's a lot of other ways. It's a vasodilator, so the blood flows faster, which brings all the oxygen nutrients to you. So, so overall, it just improves your mental and physical energy in the moment. But give it about, you know, uh, 15 minutes. If you chew it, like literally in seconds, you'll, you'll feel the difference. But I need to point out that most people don't like the flavor of spirulina. So yeah, um, don't. I definitely need to swallow it. I'm yeah, not a yeah. chewer. I chew mine, but you know, um, it is what it is. But if you like it even better, because it's killing bacteria in your mouth while you chew it. Um, oh, with, so yeah. there is, I was going to ask if there's a benefit between swallowing and chewing. Cause I actually, I can't remember which ones I've ch chewed and I actually like it. Like it has oh. this nutty, and I've heard you talk about this before, Catherine, but it does have this little bit of a nutty earthy uh, that's like, well, flavor. My only that. issue is that I have an Invisalign right now. And so oh, right. my, like the whole, you know, Invisalign yeah. turns a green color if I don't fully yeah. brush my teeth after, but I do like it. So it's not yeah. that. Yeah. It's probably oh, I, I did visit line, so I, I know what you're up against. So, um, <laughs> but the chlorella, which we call recovery, but it's, it's the one that's dry and nutty. The spirulina, it's you know, spirulina was, that's hard it's to chew. very chewy because it has that yeah. high, the highest protein in the world. I mean, 64% protein, honestly. And then it it has all these omega threes and essential fatty acids. And I, by the way, I, it, it can be a replacement for your fish oil, which, by the way, almost all fish oil is rancid by the time you get it. And I remind people, well, where do you think the fish get the omega-3 from? They get it from algae. So you can save yeah. the oils and uh, save the rancid, rancid stuff and just get what you need from the spirulina. But um, that's part of why the mental acuity comes from the spirulina. There's less of that in the chlorella, which we'll talk about in a minute. So I also just want to say really fast while we were talking about the taste, I did sample my, I did have my dog sample the products because I read yeah. that your dog could sample the products yeah. and she actually loved both of them. Oh, and I was shocked because I thought she would spit it out to be nope. honest with you. Nope. And she was like waiting for more. The cat it could be dogs, her treat. It could be her all treat. All animals now. absolutely love because they're smart. They know what's good for them. Honestly, that's it's, yeah. So I'm so glad you said that. So you can give your pet as many as you like. Um, oh, how fun! They, they will love you to death. Honestly. And they're just little. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to grind them up or anything. Just you know, give it to no, them. No, she so, chewed it up. Yeah, they'll want more. I, just I can't wait to try this. Yeah, yeah. And I'm so, thinking too, like practically, like you said with kids, because you were talking about spirulina with being energy and brain health, like what better nourishment to give them before they go off their day to school. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And it's always a battle to get them to eat, you know, enough protein, enough fiber, all the things for breakfast. And what do you have them take a few of these? Yeah. Well, what do you think about throwing them in a smoothie that you're sure. blending? Yeah, you'll That's have not to an issue. grind them up first in like in a coffee grinder uh, okay. and put them because they won't, you know, they won't, they won't blend. Yeah. Um, but uh, 
moms, listen, before you, if the kids are going off to soccer practice or whatever, don't give them one of those sugary protein oh. bars. Just give them no. a handful yeah. of the spirulina. Again, it's called energy bits. We have a second brand called beauty bits because, you know, women didn't like the first one, the, the energy bits, but they're exactly the same. But Either way, um, the spirulina is the nourishment. We have moms, uh, uh, families with uh, kids on the spectrum. Uh, it really helps with the uh, kids on the spectrum because of the protection it gives the mitochondria in your brain. Your brain has the highest concentration of mitochondria in your entire body. We'll get to that in a minute. So, so anyways, think of the spirulina, which we call energy bits, energizing, which is why I called it energy bits. And it's, um, it's a blue-green algae. I package it in a blue the container, you know, bag or whatever, so that you know that. And it's um, so anyway, so it's very, nor very, very nourishing. The other kind of energy you get from it, and we'll get to this in a minute, um, is it's cellular energy. So you get the energy in the moment because of the high amino acids and the bees that convert it to um, energy for the moment. But because it has nutrients in it that protect the mitochondria, and we'll get to that in a minute, it provides you with more cellular energy. Mitochondria are the, they're called organelles. They're in all of your cells. And they take all the food that you eat and turn it into this thing called cellular energy, also known as ATP. And that ATP is necessary for absolutely everything you do. Sleep, sleeping, walking, talking. It also is a signaler for your um, communications on your cell walls. So when you give it these, the nutrients that are in spirulina to, we're going to talk about in a minute, glutathione and also um, uh, superoxidismitase, as well as the blue pigment, it's the, these are the unique nutrients not found anywhere else in nature that protect your mitochondria. So it gives you more cellular energy long term. So this is why it's so nourishing and helps with longevity and brain health on, um, on the long term. But you get the energy also in the short, short term. Remember, there's zero carbs. So it's great for intermittent fasting, one calorie per tablet, high concentration of protein, and 40 vitamins and minerals. It's it's the complete package. <laughs> well, and you know, protein is something we've talked a lot about in the last six to 12 months on this podcast. And a lot of our clients are women, and they're really focused on protein. But you know, it's, it's a struggle and we don't want to just start eating a bunch of like meat or beef sticks or, you know, not very yeah. clean sources of protein. Yeah. So this just seems like the perfect answer. And exactly. the fact that it's a complete protein with all the nine you know essential amino acids and yeah. Yeah. Could, could be a good answer to the 29029 protein. Issue. That's what I was thinking too, Marnie. <laughs> I was like, we're going to use it on this, this yeah. big, like kind of, I don't know what do you want to call it? A, a adventure a race yeah. that you want to do next year yeah so. yeah and yeah. athletes love it we, we fuel nhl teams olympic teams marathoners triathletes they take a 30 tablets for whatever they're doing we've had people ultra runners go 100 miles with just water and spirulina honestly it, it, because wow. it gives them focus and energy and doesn't upset their stomach like all the carb-based fuels do um whether it's a goo or a you know gatorade sorry gatorade but anyways <laughs> so can you so, tell us also about the benefits of chlorella because yes, i want to so get chlorella, to that too <laughs> um Spirulina first life on earth is technically a bacteria, gives you lots of energy. Chlorella was uh, on earth a billion years later, and it does belong to the plant kingdom. And we call ours recovery bits. So on the, and it's a green algae. So only one pigment and I designed it. So it has a leaf on it. So, you know, it's a plant and it's a green algae. And we call it recovery bits because what chlorella does, it helps you recover from anything. And the way it does that is a couple of ways. First of all, it has the highest chlorophyll in the world. Remember, spirulina has the highest protein in the world. Chlorella has the highest chlorophyll in the world. Um, and chlorophyll is very cleansing. It has 500 times more chlorophyll than liquid, uh, than arugula, and it has 25 times more chlorophyll than liquid chlorophyll. How, why is, what's so healing about chlorophyll? Well, I'm gonna show you this picture. This is a chemical composition of chlorophyll, and this is the chemical composition of your hemoglobin. Notice that they're virtually identical. This is because chlorophyll builds your blood. And when you have healthy blood, you're gonna have a healthier body. You're gonna have it able to carry more oxygen. You're going to have better nutrients in your blood. So everything works better with chlorophyll. And there is, and if you notice your arugula goes yellow after about three days, that's because there's virtually no chlorophyll in any of our plants anymore because of this problem with the soil. So chlorella has the highest chlorophyll in the world, very cleansing to your blood. 
Second of all, chlorophyll turns out is a fat-based pigment. The blue pigment in spirulina is actually a water-based pigment. We don't have time to talk about that, but I want you to understand what's important about the chlorophyll being a fat-based pigment. This is because all of your cells have a cell wall that's, uh, that's made of lipids, which is also a fat, fancy way of saying fats. And so anything that keeps your cell walls moist with these healthy fats like vitamin E, uh, D, omega-3 are healthy and healing to the cell wall. And when they are you know, uh, rich with these fats, it allows nutrients to get in and toxins to get out. And so chlorophyll, because it's a fat-based pigment, has virtually the same kind of healing properties as these other healthy uh, fats like vitamin E and A. So you know, lots of people, they do cleanses with lots of vegetable juices. Well, with, and I tell people, well, the cleansing action is because of the chlorophyll. And think of chlorophyll as, um, you know, window washers. Uh, like you, you have dirty windows, you can't see out and sunlight can't get in. And so chlorophyll, because it's so rich with this fat, it helps your cell walls um, be healthier so that more nutrients can get in and more toxins can get out. So that's the second one. First, it builds your blood, two, it builds your, your cell walls. Now, the other interesting thing about chlorella is that unlike its brother, spirulina, that has no cellulose wall and is a, is a bacteria, chlorella has the hardest cell wall in the plant kingdom, so hard that it is able to, it has to be cracked to production, and that hard cell wall attaches to toxins. Lead, mercury, radiation, aluminum, alcohol, lactic acid, doesn't matter what it is. It has an ability to detect the toxin and chelate them out of your body, which means they pull them out. To get the detoxing benefits of chlorella, you do, however, need 20 or 30 tablets at a time. Just the wellness benefits, you know, with the chlorophyll and the cleansing and all the other vitamins and minerals we'll talk about in a minute, 10 tablets a, a day is fine. But if you don't take enough chlorella to detox, so maybe you had a couple of glasses of wine at dinner and you don't want to feel crappy the next morning, you need to take 20 or 30 tablets before bed. Uh, and we always recommend chlorella, take it all day long if you want, but definitely take it before bed. And the reason for that is because your body goes through a detox repair cycle while you're sleeping. And because chlorella is so cleansing and detoxing, uh, it facilitates a much better repair while you're sleeping. It also has the highest tryptophan in the world, which is a precursor to melatonin, which helps you sleep. So can I ask I, you a quick question? Yeah. So you were talking about how it can help you detox mercury and some of the toxins in your body. Yes. Let's say you find you're a person that has found out that you have, you know, mold in your system or some sort of toxicity. How long would you say you need to take 30 tablets a day to get that out of your system? Until you have a clear diagnosis. It's as simple but, as that. Do you have an idea? Take, like, it could is take it a, a week? Month. It could it take six a months. A year? So there's no... Formal. It depends where the where the toxins are. Okay. Chlorella will pull out toxins like alcohol out of your blood in an hour and a half. So if you take if you had a couple of glasses of wine, you got home, uh, or even if you didn't get home wh wherever you are, you will be stone sober in an hour and a half if you take thirty tablets of chlorella because it mm, wow <laughs> blood is liquid and so the chlorella is able to have its you know cleansing and detoxing actions very quickly. Toxins that are in your cells, uh, it's a more dense structure. So it takes longer, anywhere from seven to, you know, 14 days to clear those out. And so what it's doing, it will pull the toxins out of the cells and into your bloodstream. And you might feel some uh, detox symptoms because not from the chlorella, but because now the toxins are circulating in your blood on their way out. So it's the toxins that are making you have a headache or not everybody has these reactions, but some people do. Mm -hmm. uh, and at, if the toxicity is at the organs, now you're talking a much deeper, concentrated, dense structure that can take anywhere from two to six months. So it and that's really, like a cancer. Are you thinking more along the lines of like a cancer? Or? Tumor, cancers, just um, yeah. you know, like a buildup, I would think. Right. If you've had like toxicity your whole life or been exposed to different like significant toxins in your water and in mold in a house, I could see where that would take a long time. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, we could talk about cancer. That's a whole separate topic. But 
you know, it's, uh, this is why it's also chlorophyll, interestingly, only about 10% gets absorbed in your stomach and the rest, rest of it travels through your liver and down through your colon. And so this, uh, and of course, colon cancer is on the rise because um, people aren't eating enough fiber. And so uh, when you um, don't have enough fiber, you don't have proper bowel movements, by the way, chlorophyll and chlorella stimulate bowel movements, it's called peristalsis. Mm. So um, this is another reason for taking it before you go to bed, because when you wake up in the morning, give yourself a, you know, you know, half an hour or whatever it takes, and you'll have a very happy trip to the bathroom. But uh, if you aren't having proper bowel movements, I know it's not a popular topic, but the reality is this is this is the world we live in. All those, you know, the stuff that's in your in your in your colon is the junk that your body didn't want, couldn't use. And most cases is full of toxins. And so if you're not having proper bowel movements, it's sitting there. Right. It's like, imagine if you didn't take your garbage out right. for a week. It starts yeah. to get pretty stinky, <laughs> right? Well, that's what's going on in your colon, ladies and gentlemen. If Super important. Bowel movements, yes. Right. Yes. So uh, and it worked, and so it, they've been using chlorella for that reason for IBS, Crohn's disease, uh, colon cancer. It's very healing because of the high chlorophyll, because it pulls out toxins, and it also has fiber because it has that. It's a plant; it has a cell wall, so um, that fiber feeds the um, the the microorganisms organisms in your in your gut uh, to uh, be able to create what's called short chain fatty acids that help heal your gut, make sure that you've got a healthy gut. Um, because uh, by the way, eighty percent of your immune system is in your gut, and uh, the chlorella have all the nutrients that your immune system need to protect you. Which gets me to sort of the sort of comparison of the two algae. Um, because remember, I said spirulina is very nourishing and energizing and chlorella is very cleansing and detoxing. So there's two things I want you to, to, to share with you. A fun analogy I've made recently that people seem to love is, you know, I travel a lot and I speak at conferences and fancy hotels. So it dawned on me that spirulina, because it's so nourishing and energizing, it gives you everything you need for your day. It's like room service at a hotel. It gives you everything <laughs> you need. Okay. <laughs> chlorella, which is very cleansing and gets rid of the junk in your trunk. It's like housekeeping. Spirulina <laughs> is like room service. Chlorella is like housekeeping. So if you can't remember that, you know, keep that in mind because it's a very simple concept. Another thing I want you to think about is because spirulina has, we haven't got, you know, I know I hope we're not going to run out of time. The spirulina has nutrients that are particularly healing for your mitochondria. And your brain has the most mitochondria, has 2 million mitochondria per cell. So think of spirulina as brain food because it it heals your brain in ways that you have no idea like I do because I've done all the science. But so think of it as brain food and it heals your mitochondria. That's the blue one, spirulina energy bits. Chlorella, because it has fiber and chlorophyll and it's very cleansing to your gut. Think of it as your, your gut immune system. So chlor spirulina builds and protects your mitochondria and chlorella builds and protects your immune system. So mitochondria, which is long-term longevity and your, yeah, and chlorella for your immune system. Or think of spirulina as brain food, works from the top down and think of chlorella because it's very gut driven and health and wellness driven is from the bottom up. So right. it's funny, I was trying to think, okay, so basically chlorella is the better one. But then as you're talking about it, you really need both. They're, they really Completely complement, different algae. They complement yeah. each other and yes. they both have amazing like qualities to them where you're going to have amazing benefits. You know, so, it's like a mother, you know, you have two children, you know, they're both your favorites, right? You can't, <laughs> right. <laughs> you can't say one's better than the other because and uh, they do different things. And so if you could only buy one, you want, I would encourage you to think about what your greatest issue is. Yeah. Um, so if you're finding that you don't have enough energy, definitely spirulina. If you're finding that you've got, um, you've got a chronic disease, I would definitely spirulina because most chronic diseases are, are attributed to damaged mitochondria. Um, so you want to improve your focus, mitochondria. You want to lose weight, have your hunger satisfied, my, or sorry, uh, spirulina. If you're looking at uh, health and immune issues, 
chlorella would be your answer. If you have gut issues, chlorella for sure. Uh, if you want to pull out toxins, definitely chlorella. Spirulina is cleansing, but it doesn't have the detoxing power that chlorella has. Yeah, that sounds like it would be such a great compliment. Marnie and I run a, a seven-day functional medicine liver detox every quarter. And it seems like the chlorella would be a great add-on yeah, absolutely. for that detox. And yeah. actually both of them would be because people energy. sometimes feel low energy during the detox. And I feel yeah. like the spirulina could help that. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. And to facilitate that, we actually created, I created a brand called Vitality Bits, which is a blend of the two algae. Oh. Um, so if you, if simplicity is sort of what you're looking for, this would be the one, but you don't have as much control over it as you would if you um, bought them separately, because if you're hungry, it's only spirulina. If you're you want energy, it's only spirulina. Um, you can eat a room full of chlorella, and it won't it won't give you energy, but it will do a lot of other great things for you. So, uh, so the combo pack is not the combination of the two of that, as if you're eating them individually. There, it's a blended tablet, so it's a blend a blend of fifty percent spirulina, fifty percent chlorella. So, so if you could only you know buy one and you want to get both benefits, then you would you know take ten. They're called vitality bits, 10 of these in the morning and take 10 at night. Yeah. But, you know, again, it doesn't have the same power yeah. as you would if you're having them individually, but it's really what works best for you. Um, right. I just wanted to provide, you know, something that was safe and easy and um, uh, that worked. <laughs> yeah. So completely different things, as you can see. And I feel like we are going to need you to come back on for part two, because I feel like we could talk about cancer and I know we are going to yes. start to run out of time soon. Yeah. So you've mentioned- Why don't, all why these don't I do that? I, and honestly, I've done, there's some podcast I've been on three times because as you can see, there's, it's not like broccoli. It, there, this is a very rich, <laughs> science rich food that's been gifted to us by mother nature, That, but nobody has lifted the hood to explain to you why it works. It's not smoke and mirrors. It's just- the science of how our bodies work, uh, and I'll give just give you one little preview because we'll cover this when we I come back for mitochondria. Your because everything comes down to mitochondria, everything, even your immune system is dependent on the mitochondria. But guess what? Your mitochondria evolved from algae. It's scientifically proven, and I have the it's called um, uh, endosymbiotic theory. So, then when we get to the mitochondria, you'll start to see this is why algae is the perfect solution <laughs> to everything, particularly when it comes to mitochondrial health, because they are family. It's unbelievable. It's crazy, yeah. right? You can't make this stuff up. I, I just it's <laughs> stunning. And I know you have studies that you could talk about too. But one, just like a couple of practical things we want to leave our listeners with. Yes. One is a lot of our listeners are already taking supplements and they've dabbled in them, but we want to simplify it. And you kind of mentioned that this would replace certain supplements. And you mentioned the omega-3s, which a lot of people, including myself and Marnie are taking, but what other supplements would you say people could potentially get rid of if they were to start taking your energy? Sure. Uh, a multivitamin, by the way, the reason why the numbers on these multivitamins are so high is because the dirty little secret is they, they cause you only absorb five or 10% of it because m these vitamins in most cases, there are exceptions, but in most cases they're made from extracts from a vitamin or a, ve a vegetable or a chemical and extracts don't exist like that in nature. We are part of nature. Algae is part of nature. So um, all of the factors and cofactors that are in real food, real whole food, your body recognizes and can absorb better. So when you get a, so I just want to also forewarn people that the numbers on the algae, when you compare it to a multivitamin, don't compare because uh, you're, but you're, you're not absorbing most of what's in that multivitamin because your body doesn't know what it is. I tell people, it's like going to work with just your shoes on, like, where's the rest of the outfit? Uh, you don't know that vitamin C actually has 222 components to it, of which ascorbic acid is one. So when you just take out ascorbic acid, not, it's not doing much for you. It's so, so definitely the, the multivitamin for, I would say it's a safer source of omega-3. It's going to be a much smaller amount, but there's other, there's other essential fatty acids in the spirulina probably a CoQ10. We haven't talked about CoQ10, but it's an important transport molecule in the electron transport chain. I know I'm getting geeky, but uh, uh, biotin, which people take for uh, oh, their hair. I take that. And, yeah. And also um, a lot of people use a lot of very expensive creams. There's one called La Mer and the secret ingredient yep. in La Mer is guess it's what? Algae. Promote, 
It's algae. I knew that. Yeah, yeah there's another brand that, called actually. Shea Malibu, which is a lovely brand. Secret ingredient, algae. Of course, they don't hide it like La Mer does. But um, so, but we, and that's why we have a brand called Beauty Bits, like, um, because it, it's exactly the same as spiral, as Energy Bits. But I found women didn't like the packaging. And because it has more collagen, spirulina has more collagen. Than that's collagen. what I was going to ask about too, because a lot of women, especially are taking collagen. Yeah. Well, by the way, collagen is made, uh, is not a sustainable crop. It's made from melted down bones and hides and tendons of <laughs> animals. Uh, yeah, and what do you think they use to make, to melt those things down? They use chemicals, right? So I hate to tell you, it's not as good as you think. Chlorella or spirulina has more collagen than collagen powder. And it's a sustainable crop and it's more absorbed um, than um, better absorbed than, than collagen powder. So, so it's a replacement for a lot of the skin related, you know, either creams, it's all about beauty from the inside because you can only, when you put something topically, it can only go so deep. But when you ingest something, it circulates through the entire body using your blood. And and, and I can tell when someone eats a lot of sugar because they probably have a lot of wrinkles. So whatever damage is you, you can absorb or observe on someone's skin, that damage is occurring inside too. Uh-huh. You just can't see it. That's why they call inflammation the silent killer, because it can go on for 10 years and you won't even have any symptoms. And it's just, but it's definitely happening. So uh, back to spirulina, multi CoQ10, biotin, fish oil. Um, there's probably other ones. And for chlorella, for those of you who don't like vegetables, it can replace vegetables. Um, spirulina also can replace a lot of protein. So if you're um, either so collagen, um, possibly uh, collagen powder for sure, but also just animal protein. If you're, you know, when you're traveling, it's really hard to travel. You know, you get into your room sometimes it's late at night and you're hungry and all those chocolates are calling out to you on the you know, vanity. Well, if you, we have these little single servings. If you take these with you, this is your travel insurance. I also great. Your nutritional insurance. Yep. Yes. That's so awesome. you, if you have those, it will either fill the gap in the interim uh, so you can have a proper meal or maybe that's all you need. Um, so, okay. I'm going to send my son is going to college and Marnie has college age kids. I'm going to send him with bags of each of these because yeah. God only knows what he's going to be eating and drinking. Well, until the <laughs> college kids that they take 30 of these after they go out partying, they will, <laughs> they will wake up the next morning and they won't have a hangover. We, you know. we don't need to encourage that. No, yeah, I feel no, like that's just saying, okay, go, go party. And then yeah. you'll feel better yeah. if you eat this. Yeah. But right. so Catherine, we need to start to wrap up this conversation yeah. We love leaving our listeners with like a tip or a suggestion or something. I just want to tell people where they can learn more or buy some if they want some. Um, Our website is energybits.com, E-N-E-R-G-Y, B for boy, I-T-S.com. And we have a 20% discount code for everybody. The code is living well, all one word. And just put that in the discount box. Um, And we also have a sample pack you can buy. Or if you're not ready to buy the full bag, which works out to about 104 with your discount code. Remember, there's 551 pounds of vegetables in that bag. Uh, we do sell them on Amazon, six dollars each. So if you have if you have any doubts about whether this is for you, just go online to Amazon, uh, buy a couple of single pouches, you, prime shipping, and then come back to the website. We're not here to push the product on anybody. Uh, we want you to be absolutely 100% confident that it is something that will nourish you and, and uh, help you with your goals of either skin care, longevity, energy, focus, whatever. So energybits.com uh, is where uh, all the action is. So anyway, sorry about that. <laughs> and no, no worries. We'll link that all up in the show notes as well. So we, we love if you could just leave our listeners with like a quick tip that they could implement today to increase their health and longevity. Well, algae would be the only, not the only, but the best tip I can give you. Um, I'm a complete example of what this stuff does for you. Uh, Spirulina, definitely in the morning and the afternoon and or before a workout and chlorella, definitely before bed. But you can take it any time of day. But it's um, that's the best tip I can get. The other tips would be, you know, the way to be healthy is actually easier than we think. It's using all the natural things provided to us, sleep, movement, out being in nature, sun, water, (laughs) and proper nutrition. 
um, and love. <laughs> you got to have love in there. So it, you don't need an expensive device to, to achieve wellness. You just, and, and probably being quieter and listening to your inner voice is um, probably the most powerful thing that you could do and also costs you nothing. This algae is almost because a dollar a day, it's, it's not an expensive investment, but it will give you what you need. So our health has been guaranteed to us by mother nature, but we've chosen to ignore her. <laughs> yes. So I would just encourage you to listen to her a little bit more. <laughs> Those are everything you said is it's, it's, per, it's perfect. And yeah. I love that you mentioned that most of these things are all free. So yeah. <laughs> one final question that we love to ask all of our guests, Catherine, is what does the art of living well mean to you? It, it means uh, being in the flow, feeling a uh, being happy with every single moment. Uh, so it, that's a, it's giving yourself what you need and not feeling that you have to apologize for it. So I guess it's self, self-love. So women, we are always the last ones to give ourselves what we need because we're so much caring for everybody else. But I, I'm here to say, you know, you've got to look after yourself and it's and it shouldn't be a burden and it shouldn't feel obligatory. <laughs> Take joy in caring for yourself. Because then the, you'll be in the flow and um, everything will be effortless. It's all about effortless, right? Absolutely. That is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And I think you're right. That resonates with me a lot. And I think our female listeners out there being in the flow. I mean, that's not something I think a lot of women and busy moms can actually say that they're in the flow most I know. days. I know. So something to aspire to. Yeah. Yep. Or even just moments of it. You just, yeah. But yeah. carve out time for yourself, even if it's just sitting outside or reading a book or meditating mm. or having a cup of tea and not apologizing for it. <laughs> right. Get mm-hmm. rid of that guilt thing. Because I've lived with that for most of my life and it's very damaging. You might have hundred percent like that. <laughs> no, we don't. Anyway, we don't need guilt. It's not helpful. I, just on that note, I want to mention, and we'll get to the mitochondria on another podcast. But they are the most important thing in your entire body. And guess what? They have their own DNA, and all of the mitochondria DNA come from women. Our regular DNA, uh, half of it comes from men, and the sperm, and half comes from egg. Mitochondria DNA, all from the ladies. Hmm. So, you know, we are the power, ladies. And the mitochondria are our power. So tune in to the fact that being a female is actually a great thing, but don't apologize for it. (laughs) Not planning on it, but thanks for sharing because I did not know that. (laughs) Either did I. Yeah. Well, it's been. Thank you, Catherine, so much for joining us today. We've learned so much. I'm really excited to continue taking energy bits. I actually ran out. So I need to purchase more. Yes. And yeah, we'll look forward to having you on again. All right. And for those of you just listening, pop over to our YouTube channel because she did, Catherine showed up a bunch of diagrams and also you can see and feel her energy. (laughs) And at 67, I mean, I want what you're having, you know, so I think (laughs) everyone. Right. Exactly. um, You know, is going to want to start taking energy bits. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Have All a right. great well, day, Marnie. I appreciate yeah. it. You guys are the best. <laughs> Bye-bye. Right. Bye. Bye.